dig reddits. Normally, I would be standing today in a room together with you, with more than a, a thousand of you, in fact, and together with your families and friends. We would all be wearing robes and we would have just paraded around Rotterdam. And probably we would have had to hand out more than a thousand umbrellas too, because the weather oftentimes isn't as nice as it is today. Of course, over the last two months, a lot of things have changed. What has happened has affected you and your studies. It's also affected your families and friends. And of course, the last few months here at RSM have been very different from how they were supposed to be. But one thing has not changed, and that is the value of your degree that you are graduating with today. You work incredibly hard during these circumstances, and it is wonderful to see what you have achieved during these last few months as you have faced those challenges. I know it's not been easy, but I also know that your families and your friends are incredibly proud of you. I hope that we will have the opportunity to celebrate at some point in person. I would really love that. But for now, let's think about what you have achieved and also what you're going to do next. All of you are going into the world now. You are going to take up new opportunities. You're going to have to make choices as well. The choices you make and the opportunities you seek are what makes you and are all of us a force of positive change in this world. And I'm really so grateful for your willingness to be part of this mission. So congratulations, you've done really well. We are proud of you. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you very, very soon. Dear graduates, dear families, I'm Murat Tarakç. I'm proud to be the academic director of the Management of Innovation Master Program. I'm exceptionally proud to know all of you last year. These are challenging times. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and healthy. The ongoing pandemic and other challenges have taught us once again two critical lessons. First, the times change. Not only must we adapt to the changes, but we can create the future. Second, the future we create should be a better one, where we value and care about our environment and one another, regardless of our gender or color of our skin. With the knowledge, skills, and willpower of an innovation leader. That is, you embrace the fact that innovation is the key to create a better future for all of us. All you must now feel, and you must now feel in your bones that you are the ones creating that future. You will generate ideas, execute these ideas, and transform our future with those ideas for the better. In your journey, please remember that you are not alone. You are now part of this community of innovation leaders. Stay connected with us and with each other. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you and congratulations again.
over 50 years ago, a few bright minds planted the seeds to become a force for positive change in the world, developing thought leaders in business, research and education. It was a unique opportunity to join the first academic business school in the Netherlands. It was a life-changing experience and made my career. I'm grateful that I learned all the different aspects of business with my RSM degree. In the 1980s, we launched a full set of management programs at RSM. And that way, we laid the foundations for a top business school in Europe. I'm very proud that since the 90s, RSM has become an international business school known for its excellence in research. Leadership of today is not driven by self-interest, but by a vision that gives us direction to the sustainable change we so badly need. Without shared values and a sense of community, it is impossible to overcome the current global challenges. We empower women to drive their careers and be agents of change in creating a more gender equal work environment. It's an honor to lead such an impactful business school. Going forward, it is going to be crucial to find the right balance between continuity and change in order to create new opportunities for the next 50 years. I will be the agent of positive change. I am ready for the future. Rotterdam School of Management. Erasmus University. 50 years of impact. Hi all. Can you feel it? The changes that are happening everywhere around us, now more than ever, one might wonder why it is that things change, especially when these changes have a big impact on our lives. A pink, fictional little piglet once pondered on the same question, to which Winnie the Pooh philosophically replied, it gives them a chance to get better. I feel that those words are a good representation of the mindset that flows through the Management of Innovation Department, students and faculty alike. Not only does it portray our sacred belief that innovation is the way forward, but it also shows our ability to ask critical questions regarding the changes itself. This mindset was shaped from the very first moments of the past academic year. Take Murat's strategy of innovation class, for example. For those who do not remember, this is the one where we talked about technology S-curves and MB dexterity from crying some time. Coming late to one of Murat's sessions had the following consequence. Singing a song in front of the entire class. Although some of us were able to showcase their musical talents, I think no single person came late more than once. And let me remind you that this was an early morning class. Anywho, Murat showed us that a simple innovation in the so-called punishment could change the behavior of students, a group notorious for sleeping in. In that same first class, Murat told us that instead of a lecturer, he would rather be seen as a facilitator of our own discussions. No session would go by without a series of insightful questions and follow-ups, even causing us to lose track of time every so often. 
which is something I personally had not seen in my previous education. This trend of getting our own hands dirty continued throughout the core courses, culminating in the Innovation and Projects and Teams course, where we had to design new business opportunities for a startup. Creative ideas were brought up left, right and center, leading to a set of projects that were worked out to the finest detail. In my view, this innovation capacity originated from the diversity of our student cohort and the synergy between them. Go ahead and ask any student about how they got here. I guarantee you, no answer will be the same. Like we said, things change, and I am certain we have one common denominator now. We are part of the RSM Management of Innovation Class of 2020. This is something that we can be extremely proud of, because as you all know, the year 2020 has been a very special one so far, to say the least. Many will know us as the class of COVID-19, which has changed our ways of living since arriving here last winter. It caused us to have no more physical classes or study sessions together, but it also meant no more of Corinna's beloved running dinners, star drinks, or late night parties at the Vita Ab. The plans for our study trip could also be thrown out the window. But I think that's enough about what we could not do anymore, because many of our students showed that they had adopted the innovation mindset that I talked about earlier. Instead of just sitting at home, I've seen my peers launching numerous companies, doing digital internships, putting extra effort into their classes and theses, or picking up new hobbies. Somewhat later, we used the same mindset to organize virtual and socially distanced events in order to just be able to see each other again. This willingness and motivation to take a bad situation and turn it around is what defines us as what RSM likes to call forces of positive change. Dear fellow Management of Innovation graduates, I can only be extremely proud and honored to be a member of this graduating class and I really, really hope that we share the same feelings. Faculty, friends and family, I think I speak on behalf of all of us when thanking you for your continuous support and I want to end by wishing everyone the best of luck during their future steps, wherever they may lead. Please stay in touch, and most importantly, stay safe. And please do not forget Pooh's words, change happens to give things a chance to get better. Let's make sure that we contribute to that. Cheers, y'all. We wanted to create a place where you can go back in time and explore all the stories of the 50-year RSM history. A complete timeline that not only tells those stories, but also instills a sense of pride about the history and ignites inspiration for the future. After months of work by many, hunting and digging through the archive, puzzling all the pieces together, it's with great honor that I get to unveil and present to you the official 50-year historical timeline of Rotterdam School of Management, Erasmus University. The first part of our timeline is a story of many firsts. The first plans, the first school building, the first classroom, and of course, the first students. The first item on our timeline, and my favorite piece, is this one-page business plan. It was made by our founding fathers, and they compared four European business schools, and they used it to design the school and the curriculum. The beginning of our timeline contains a picture of our very first school building. And on this school building, of course, there was a building sign. This is the original building sign from 1970, and luckily, it survived the past 50 years. Another great discovery from the RSM archives are these three pictures. They were scattered amongst hundreds of pictures, and after studying them for a while, we figured out that they fit together, creating a beautiful panorama of one of the first classrooms. If you look closely, you see a blackboard with a process flow. Of course, you see 1970s students with long hair and their appropriate clothes. And at the very back of the classroom, in the window, you see two beer bottles. Let's just say things were a bit different in the 70s. 
This first part of our timeline is quite dynamic. Our newly formed school grows. We welcome more students and after a while it's the start of the MBA program, the PhD program. Uh, in 1977, SVIP is founded, which is currently called STAR, and we moved the school from Rotterdam to Delft. The second part of our timeline is even more dynamic. After over 10 years, our school moves back from Delft to Rotterdam, to the FG building in 1984. Here it becomes a proper academic faculty, part of the state-recognized Erasmus University. In this phase, it's all about further internationalization, development, expansion and academic recognition. In 1989, RSM is admitted into the prestigious Community of European Management Schools, SEMS, and the PIM Network, Programme in International Management. The exchange programme of RSM starts to take shape in a tremendous way. Here, on the timeline, we see a graduation ceremony taking place in the early years. In the mid-1980s, the new FG building allowed for a lot of space for a new computer lab. The importance of automation in the workplace was on the rise and the shape and size of computers changed over the years. RSM has always invested heavily in those facilities because of their importance for education. And nowadays, everybody just brings their own device. The early 90s marked the birth of the internet and our timeline describes how new ways of doing research and delivering education were developed. For instance, in the late 90s, as part of the Dr. Anders 2000 project, RSM started experimenting with delivering video lectures on CD-ROMs. Welcome by this college over leadership. Students were learned how to code in Delphi and other programming languages. And from 2000 onward, the faculty implemented digital case methods. For instance, this adventure game case, where learning, testing, grading and fraud detection all was done via advanced CD-ROMs and floppy disks. The last part of our timeline is all about further growth and integration. RSM becomes one brand name, unifying all research and programs under one label. We continue to climb the most important rankings. We welcome more students, we make more impressive publications, and our name continues to grow as a brand name in the market. In 2009, the I Will movement launches. Students, staff and faculty make a public commitment to their drive and ambitions, reflecting RSM spirit. By 2020, there are no more than 15,000 statements. In 2017, RSM embarks on a new strategic mission to become a force for positive change. By embracing the UN's Sustainable Development Goals, they try to implement a new way of measuring societal impact. And this concludes my brief overview of the RSM timeline. Come over to the Mandeville building and have a look yourself, or go over to the Bale building where we have an identical timeline set up. Or you can go to rsm.nl slash 50 to find more online resources, videos and all the stories of the 50 year RSM history. Come and explore our shared history now. Alex Janssen. André van Gorp. Augustin Charé de Valcheré de Avali. Ayush Drolia. Carmen Kutzer, cum laude. Daniel Rodenberg Darius Davedi School David Serioli Dennis Clerk Dominique Hicks
von Aversath, Cum Laude. Enrico Gallinaro, Cum Laude. Eros Cavalleri. Fenne Hovinga. Florentine Latakan, Cum Laude. Hodeafa Izi, Cum Laude. Jair Mertens. Jan Clerics. Jinte Bayer. Maynard Bokold. Lisette Broshoofd. Luc Moreau, cum laude. Malte Drummond. Mana Sargassian. Hi everyone, Mana here. I'm super happy to have obtained my master's degree and I want to thank everyone that helped me go through it, such as my family, friends and of course my study buddies. Maria Balcaina. Happy graduation everyone. I'm so happy we made it. Hope you stay safe and sound in these turbulent times. Marie Claire Walsh. Martijn Roofs. Marie Stucker. Max Ackerboom. Meryl Schap. Cum laude. Meryl van Zomeren. Mike Forsch. Nasnin Jabalameli. Nazanin Merpuya, cum laude. Nick Pont. Premsak Serkulitz. Remy Lojo Petrovic. I'd like to thank both my coaches Stefano and Musa, my psychologist Hanan, and my family for helping me reach this amazing milestone. Remy van der Horn. Congrats, everyone. I want to thank my parents, my brother and sister, and my boyfriend for their support during my studies. Rick van Hout. Rick Vermeulen. Ruben de Haan. Hey all, what a weird year it turned out to be. But I'm happy I graduated this year. And I uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope to see you again sometimes. I would like to thank my parents for this uh, achievement. Sander van der Neutz. Yes, I've graduated. Thank you all so much for making this year so much fun. I'm currently following my second master's degree, so perhaps we can do this next year in person. See you soon. Sudovi Knappen. Yay, we made it. Congrats to everyone. And I would like to thank my friends and family for always supporting me. And let's celebrate. <laughs> Svenja Kalis. Tamara de Kra. Timon Hermans. Dear fellow classmates, yes, we did it. Class of 2020, we graduated. Timo Den Brink. Willem Overwell. Willem Overwell. 
Willem van der Loo. Ronnie Okkers. Congratulations, your hard work's paid off and you are now no longer students, you are RSM alumni and we are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. I just wanted to let you know that you are now part of an alumni community that is global and community and networks are ever more important. So please stay in touch with us, stay in touch with each other and I look forward to seeing you again in the future. Congratulations to all of you. New doors are opening and are taking you to directions that you have never expected. And I'm sure you'll be able to overcome all the challenges that this year brought us. You've made it. I am hugely proud of you and I hope you can cherish this amazing moment. Welcome to this wonderful alumni network. You can set an example. It is your time now to make positive change happen. Yeah.